Hello, in previous video I have shown you how to use taxonomies to start quick. In this video I will show you how to use inbuilt metadata constructor. Why we need it? For example, you want to filter products by price. So what you do in this case? Price is meta key. So we have to make search in the same time by taxonomies and meta field. So let's go to MDF categories and create one of them. Who? show for example name it as you want let's go to filters and create um, price for example it will be range slider from 0 to 100 step is 1 oh sorry step is 1 uh, prefix dollar uh, this is book price and I want to set range from min price to maximum for the database select here yes if you are using WooCommerce select here Woo Shop publish uh, and then go here reflect value from meta key why we need this because we just created new uh, item meta key it's new and it's now where but we have already our prices in uh, MediKey named as price. It's Medi WooCommerce MediKey. So let's update. One other thing we want to use in our filters taxonomies too. So we have to create a taxonomy section. Let's write it taxonomy. Sorry, taxonomy. Repent taxonomy here we have to select taxonomy we shall publish this taxonomy filter item means that only place where these taxonomies will be placed this is no filter item this is special mark only so what we have now we have now price and taxonomy let price will be first and taxonomy second okay this is filter sequence on front uh what uh, so what we have to do now let's go to our products and look at this go to any products and look we have to in each product select here who show and press update but one more thing if we have for example five thousand products what to do in each go and select this we show no that's not right and it's not convenient at all because we have already all data we have price we have taxonomy we don't uh, we don't need add new data to each product so uh, in such case you have to assign filter category to all products by one click let's go to mdf settings on one moment uh, let's go to mdf categories enter it and remember 23 tag id of our filter category 23 let's go to settings go here select product 23 assign that's all <laughs> all product is marketed so you have to do nothing who show yes it's selected so now we are going to our widgets and remove previous widgets MDD taxonomy only because it doesn't work with the price at all. And select our MDTF, Woo Shop, Product, uh, press Save. Select here Product Categories Color. Let it be all as checkbox. Apply. Apply. So, what do we want to use now? Uh, for example, let it be after submit for beginning. That's that's all. Say, let's go to the front and let's test it. So we have price filter and product categories and color filter. Look here, taxonomy. Uh, one question: If you want to hide, for example, taxonomy world at price world, in for these cases, exists such thing as is it such sign as tilde just before 
each title you doesn't want to see on the front, drop this sign. Update. So now let's update front page. What we can see is disappearing. Okay, let's start filtering. So what can I say? It works and nothing more. Closing, posters. That's right. That's working. Reset. So this is all. See you. Goodbye.